Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. It seems like we got yet another contender in the CPU cooler department, this time in question being a certain brand you might have heard of here and there. MSI. As you can probably notice, they've conveniently used a part of their existing technology naming seen on their coolers for the graphics cards, so on count of that this model is being called the Core Frozer L. Something that's interesting about it is that beside your usual socket support from Intel's latest ones all the way up to older 775 sockets, next to also supporting your standard AMD sockets FM2 and AM3+, this model can out of the box also go on the brand new AM4 platform which is a big plus for sure. All of those parts and accessories necessary for the cooler installation are very neatly put into this separate smaller box within the packaging and of course except that you'll also get the cooler itself with the fan being already pre-installed. As you can see, the Core Frozer L is just a tad bigger in size than your average example of an aftermarket CPU cooler, but compared to those like for example the planetary popular Cooler Master Hyper 212, it looks more attractive, whether it's just because of those extra aesthetic bits with MSI Dragon logo on the top, more cooler looking MSI Torx fan, or the design of the heatsink itself which comes in a bit different with these angled edges and fin cuts. It measures a pretty common 155mm of height, which will most likely make it fit in any chassis, probably even in those generic ones and especially in terms of the more popular choices. As for the cooler construction, we have a total of 4 pretty thick 8mm, as they call it super heat pipes, coming down through this pretty dense aluminium fin array with small bumps in the middle for directing the airflow throughout their whole surface, to a nickel plated copper base which could have a bit better polish to it, although it seems to be perfectly leveled. If you wish to, you can put a second fan on the back for a push-pull configuration, as MSI also provided two additional fan clips for it. When it comes to installation, although in my opinion it has few more parts than it maybe needs to, the whole process was pretty painless and straightforward. I was done with it in less than 10 minutes and that's without a user manual since with this sample I didn't get one, so I had to look it up and try to wing it. The cooler has a bit of a center offset so it doesn't interfere with the components surrounding it, although in my case with the fan facing IOs it didn't make it compatible with the first PCI Express slot as it just hovered over it, but that's more an uncommon scenario as I install it that way so I can get a better shot of it, but I'm sure that if you turn the cooler around for 180 degrees in other direction, you'll have just enough room to clear that first PC Express slot which is probably the reason why they offset it in the first place. RAM clearance is alright, especially when the cooler is facing the other side like this, while in other more usual scenario it could be a tight fit, although it seems to be doable, while if you want to be 100% sure by low profile RAM sticks somewhere up to 50 to 55 millimeters of height. Checking out the performance of the cooler, under default settings my 4 core 8 thread Core i7-6700K was seeing temperatures just below 30 degrees Celsius in idle, while under full load in AIDA's system stability stress test it was roaming from 50 to 60 degrees Celsius with peaks sitting at 65 degrees Celsius. Loading up my OC profile which bumps the CPU up to 4.6 GHz and 1.3 volts of core voltage, I was seeing pretty respectable 60 to 70 degrees Celsius with peaks just under 80 degrees Celsius. In terms of the noise that it makes, the 120mm MSI Torx fan with hydrodynamic bearing can get pretty loud under both load scenarios, spinning at what I would guess close to maximal RPM as hardware monitor is showing around 3000 RPM at stock load to 3800 RPM at OC load, which cannot be correct since this fan is rated at around 1000 RPM of maximal speed.
It is loud, although it's still bearable, while under idle, it's basically inaudible. I would suggest you go into your BIOS settings and adjust the fan speed for load scenario to your willing, or if your motherboard manufacturer provides a certain software utility for that. As a final touch, MSI's Dragon logo on the top, which I mentioned earlier, glows in white and red color combination, which looks really cool in the dark. But you can remove that black plate and replace it with the silver one from the bundle, which will go great with their titanium and tomahawk series of motherboards. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for watching, feel free to toss me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, that really helps me a lot. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product or if you just want to leave your suggestions. And of course feel free to subscribe for content further down the line or you can check out some of my other videos from before. Until then, catch you later guys.